Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, Wanting Beast. It's me, Farhama Wesher, and today we're back with another tutorial on Python, which is about classes and objects. Classes and objects can make our Python program a lot stronger, and you know, it's just a really great, you know, function and a property of Python to work with. So, this class is an object what are what are these things so classes and objects are as I said these are two things all right if you know these are two things class is one thing an object is a different thing all right so a class let's start with class a class is basically a data type all right we can you know create a data type using class which means that you know class is a function in Python and we can use this function to create a data type using Python. All right, if that makes sense. If you are noting this down, I would say to note these lines, the, the things that I'm telling you that class is basically a data type, and we can create, you know, class is not class is a function which you which we use to create a data type in Python using Python. All right. So let me give an example. Let's say I have my phone over here and my phone has a data type all right so if someone asks me that what is the data type of your phone he or she is gonna ask me that you know in a data type there are different questions that you need to ask out all right let's say someone asks me that what is the brand of your phone if I say it's Huawei or if I say it's Samsung if I say it's um, it's Symphony all right there are many brands out there and if they tell me that what is its color I would say it's black it's white or it's blue any other any other color I know and if if anyone asks me that what is the operating system I would say it's Android right and if anyone says that all right this is your phone are you the owner of it if so what is your name I would say yes I'm the owner I'm and my name is Farm Washir Taha so you know it's basically that we're just gonna create a data type of anything around us as I give an example of our phone there can be many many other data types all right now what is an object an object is basically you know the thing that is the that is that we are that the, the object is basically um, let's say my phone is the object how is it an uh, object like you know a living I can be an object if my school if my school has my information and and they say give me the data type of the student Farhan Mubashir Taha. They're gonna give a data type of my age, which class am I in, um, which um, let's say what is my grades, and what is my role, what is my section. So they're gonna you know have this data type of me in their in their class you can say or you know not a class but in their they're gonna have my data type in basic sense so I am an object and they have my data type my phone is an object and I and I have the data type of my phone right? let's say you know in your phone you can see there are many there are there's an option like about your phone right so in that over there you can see what is your phone's name what is what is the brand um, uh, what is the color of your phone how much RAM it has so that is a data type all right so we can create a data type in Python using classes and objects. If that's clear, let's move on on how we can create a data type. All right. So, like you know, we, the thing is how we can create a data type and you know, just work it out. So to create a data type and work it out in Python. Basically, how to create an how to work out the class and object function in Python. We're gonna be needing two Python files, all right. And at this moment, I'm using my IDE PyCharm. You can use any other IDE that you have, but you should have two file, two Python files, all right. So, to start it, I'm just gonna give my data type a name, which means I'm gonna start with the function class, all right. Look, I need to I need to mention the function without without mentioning the function it won't work. So, class and let's say I want to make a data type of NGOs. All right, 
that there are many NGOs in this whole earth and you know uh, let's say there are many NGOs with different names different data types so I want to create a data type of NGOs alright so let's say class NGO and I'm gonna give a uh, give this sign and then I'm gonna go to the next time by clicking on enter alright now I'm gonna type over here is that I'm gonna type in def which is I'm, I'm you know mentioning a function is gonna be occurring over here def underscore underscore there is two underscores in it all right I n i t in it and then I'm gonna give mo two more underscores after in it and then I'm gonna give an open and close parenthesis and after that I'm gonna type in self inside those open and close parentheses and then this quotation this colon mark whatever you say that sign is then we're just gonna give a comma and then we're gonna type in let's say name of NGO alright the name of the NGO alright then we give a comma and then we're gonna type in let's say this comma and a space and then write let's say established in alright established in established in alright then you know we can let's say say the founder name alright the founder's name and then let's say is it trustworthy is all right before i move on there is one thing you need to, you need to know which is that using classes and objects like inside that data type that we are producing over here we can put boolean values we can put integer values there is no problem with that over here as i said i'm using is which means that it is it is gonna be a boolean value all right also over here you can see i have established in which means that I, wa I'm, I want to input an integer value over here so in our classes and object function we can you know in our data type we can use integer values boolean values strings anything all right so over here as i want to create a boolean value over here so let's have an is trustworthy or not all right trustworthy all right now we're just gonna click on enter and we're gonna type over here self dot name dash of dash ngo equals to name of ngo guys this whole thing i know at this moment will not make any sense but along the way I will explain to you guys how this thing will make proper sense all right so just go on with go, go on coding with me over here and see the tutorial so same thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna type in self dot established in established in equals to name uh, sorry it should have been established in all right then again go and write self dot founder dash name equals to founder dash name and then I can go and say self dot is underscore trustworthy equals to is trustworthy all right so now let me explain to you what is happening this is the name of the NGO right so these are the things that needs to be inputted into our Python into our data type all right so it's it's more like a parameter all right the name of the NGO established it's more like a parameter if you have worked with functions before you will know well over here it's like a parameter all right and over here it's like the name of the NGO is gonna be the name that we're gonna be inputting 
The establishment year will be the establish, uh, establishment year we will be put in pudding. The founder's name will be the will be equals to the name that we will be inputting. All right. So basically, it's more like we're gonna be telling over here that what will be our like what will be our you can say what will be our uh what will be our uh let's say organization or of the organized organizing way of the questions and then over here we can say you know it's more like a parameter i would say you know not an organizing way but it's more like a parameter all right and then over here as we come to this line we're just gonna say the name of the ngo that we know should be equal to the name of the ngo that we will be inputting for instance let's say i have made this whole program and let's say i'm making a software i've, I've made this uh, software application and this is a whole program and i want like i have put it down this code and let's say my client is making this in like you know i know that you have to input an ngo's name if that ngo's name is you know like that ngo's name should be you know should be a you know, real name right so you have to put an ngo's name so the ngo's name that the owner the client will be inputting will be equals to the ngo's name that say i'm sorry i beg your pardon so the name of the ngo that we know should be equals to the name of the ngo that, that the client will be inputting so you know of course we're going to name the ngo that is actually in this world right so that is actually in real in fact so that we're going to input in like that so just like that the establishment year will be equal to the establishment year that the client will be inputting if that makes sense once again the establishment year will be equal to the establishment year that the client will be inputting all right if that makes sense then we're going to move on to our ontom.py file and over here what we're going to do is we're going to import beast sorry from beast sorry from it should be that I, from beast import let's say again go to this file what is the cl uh, class name is ngo right so from beast import ngo right let's go to the next line and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in a what we're gonna do is gonna use you know we're just gonna use a uh, let's say a variable all right we're gonna type in ng uh, let's say ngo one all right this is the like you know this is a uh, number one ngo in our list like this is the like we need we're putting in an organized order so this is the first ngo that we're putting in, in our list so ngo dot equals so we're gonna type in this function that we have over here all right we're gonna type in ngo all right this is our class right ngo and open and close parentheses we're gonna type in we're gonna type in an open and close quotation marks because look what is it over here we have name of the ngo right we have the name of the ngo so let's say the name of the ngo is learned from design app all right salamullahi all right so this is the name of the ngo right then we just gonna give a comma we're gonna go again and now if you see that over here it says established in right so when is this established so we can give an integer value over here let's say it was established in 2019 all right let's give a comma and now the question that arises is that when it was when it was what is the founder's name let's say the founder's name is Kenny's like you know not less this is the founder's name the founder's name is Kaniza Kaniza Pan and then let's say we give us gonna give a comma and is it is it trustworthy it's a boolean we're just gonna input a boolean value and say yes I mean it's true right it's it's trustworthy now what we're gonna do is we're going to be moving to the next line 
I will be printing this all right so print and we'll say print in your one dot let's say I want to know whether what is the file let's say I want to know the NGO's name so I'm just gonna click on the and uh, click on like you know I'm just gonna type in the function uh, name over here the uh, the, the question uh, what is the angel's name all right that we have over here self dot angel's name so the name just name because the engineer that we're gonna input so like does that make sense guys the angel's name that we be input that the angel's name will be called to the name of the angels that we're gonna input so basically the this is like the angel's name will be equals to the name that we're gonna be inputting right it's like a question and the answer all right let's click on uh, the print option you will see over here the angel's name is learned from Zainab Sallallahu which is s dot amens all right that full front now let's say I want to know the founder's name all right so I'm just click on founder name and let me just run it out the founder name is Kanizek Khadiza Khan. Let's say I want to know the um, whether it's trustworthy or not. So let's say is trustworthy. It's true, they are trustworthy. Also, we can add more NGO's name. Let's say NGO2. Give an NGO and let's say NGO equals 2. And then let's put in, let's say this NGO's name is Bill Gates Foundation. Bill Gates foundation and then let's say when it was established well I don't have a clear idea when it was established so let's say 1987 guys nice. I'm saying I don't have a clear idea when it was established then let's say um, the name the founders name is Bill Gates all right I'm just gonna give uh, open and close quotation marks right and then let's say I'm just gonna give is it trustworthy it is trustworthy but like yeah it's trustworthy all right, but let me use false for this. It's trustworthy for me. It's trustworthy. I'm just giving false to make you understand this. All right, don't think I'm an uh, enemy of that NGO. Don't think that. Let's run it out. Sorry, uh, I'm just gonna change this. So NGO two is it trustworthy? All right, NGO two is it, is it trustworthy or not? False. It's not trustworthy, right? Because we have inputted that it's not trustworthy. If you just make it true. It is trustworthy. Let's say I want to know the founder's name. Oh, sorry. Let's say I want to know the founder's name. Founder's name. Let's run it. It's Bill Gates. All right. So you know we can create. You know this is our data type. You know, these are the things that will be imp that will be inputting into our data type. This is the codes, and these are the applications. So basically, our client is gonna type in this, and the name of the angel will be equal to the name of the angel that our, that will be inputting. Like our client will be inputting. All right. So guys, this is what we know as class and object in Python. So for a quick review. We will be what is that is we're going to be inputting class ngo then we're going to give a function and name it a i n i t in, in it two underscores this to the right two underscores to the left then self then comma your um your parameters name of the ngo established in founder name is trustworthy whatever you want to give then just put it inside of uh, open and close co uh, co uh, parentheses and give a then give this sign over here then write self dot name of ngo equals to name of ngo self dot established in underscore in equals to established in self dot founder underscore name founder underscore name self dot is trustworthy equals to is trustworthy so this is like the name of the ngo will be equal to name of the ngo that we will be inputting all right now over here we're gonna come to the next file we're gonna say we want to input uh, we want to like you know input ngo this class ngo from beast from the file beast the we have the uh, we want to like the first ngo name that we have 
we want to, we want to keep in is like say it's the NGO's name learn from Zainab Salamul Alaihi the 19 is when it's established the founder's name and then whether it's trustworthy or not is true and then same you can make more data types over here uh, it has an um, infinite list you can say then just come out to the print function say that what you want to know let's say I want to know the NGO 2's um, NGO 2's founder name so it's gonna become as Bill Gates if I wanted to see if I want to know the NGO 1's founder's name which is the land from Zena's uh, uh, founder name Middle Bikan is the Khadiza Khan and she is the founder alright so that's all for today's video guys I hope you understood my video and tell us what more videos you want me to make also don't forget to check the NGO that we have in our description box below you know they are they are actually very great and they need your support guys go and follow them on their social media sites the link will be in my description as i said and also don't forget to follow me on social medias and with that i'll be in this video today see you next time